Hello, everybody. My name is Sarah. I work at Vermont Mutual Insurance Group. I've been with the company about five years and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to share a brief presentation, um, a little bit about Vermont Mutual before I really talk about the positions that are open. And the reason for doing so is because there's a lot of I guess, negative information out there about insurance. A lot of people think that it's a boring position where you might cold call people, um, that kind of uh, role. It's really nothing like that in the insurance industry. So I have a couple slides to kind of highlight the, the things that insurance, and in particularly Vermont Mutual, does. And um, the multitude of different career paths that you can pursue in insurance. So I'm going to share my screen. So, um, like I said, a very brief presentation about Vermont Mutual. So let's go ahead and get started. We were founded in 1828, so we're 193 years old and we try not to act our age. So we are very innovative and we want to make sure that we're modernized. And um, that's how we've been successful through the years to be the oldest, largest and most successful property and casualty. That's what PNC is, carrier in Vermont. In, in Vermont. And we're one of the oldest mutual carriers in the country which is great that we're still around and it's great to be in Vermont for that. What we do is we write personal and commercial lines of insurance and what that means for personal lines would be things that you personally want to purchase for yourself such as homeowners or auto insurance or renters insurance or something to that effect. And commercial lines sounds like what you might think. So if you are a business owner, you own an apartment complex, a condominium association, association, those types of things, commercial lines would be the kind of uh, insurance that you would carry. And we write business in seven states, so the six New England states plus upstate New York. So we have a pretty good footprint. We have 300,000 plus customers, 400 plus agents that we work with in those seven states. And they're the ones that are really doing the selling part. They're the ones that have people come into their insurance office or right now call in probably virtual um, meetings to say, I would like insurance and this kind of thing. What, what kind of coverage or which company would be good for me? So they're the ones that are doing that kind of work for us and then bringing the business to us. And we have 308 employees right now and we are growing, which is great. A lot of companies are probably downsizing or laying off during the pandemic. We have not had that unfortunate aspect during the pandemic. We are growing, we are adding to our staff. So it's good to be Vermont Mutual right now. Really briefly, the difference between a mutual company and a stock company or a publicly traded company is that we don't have to deal with, um, you know, quarterly reports and how we're doing from quarter to quarter to try to appeal shareholders. Um, we are able to look long term to see what is needed for the security of the company and for our employees, um, and therefore we can make really strong, safe, stable decisions. So we're going to be around for at least 193 years more, I hope. Our customers, like I said briefly about what commercial and personal lines of insurance are, like I said here, business owners, homeowners, and the like. Um, so that's just briefly what our customers are. So from a cultural standpoint, our priorities are, of course, we want to remain financially stable. It's really to make sure that when people have claims, because they purchase a promise from us, that we're able to pay out that money that is owed to them when a claim eventually happens, and inevitably it will. Um, none of us are as strong as all of us. That really speaks to, you know, collaboration, um, working together, a sense of everyone can feel free to have their voice heard and share their opinions and feel free to do so and safe to do so. Um, I already mentioned modernization as a priority. Like I said, we don't want to act our age. We want to make sure that we're in the 21st century. So we encourage our employees to seek ways that we can be more efficient. What can we do to make it a better place to work, to make our processes better? And like I said, we encourage that. Data-driven that data-driven decisions are usually better decisions. Of course, we know that we want to have the data available so that we can make sure that we're making good decisions and not just going with gut reactions. And finally, probably most importantly, one of our priorities is they call it work for a reason, but 
And that but really to us is that we spend a lot of our time um, that we are awake at work and we want to make sure that it's a really fun place to work that people feel like they're not coming to work because they have to, but because they want to. Um, so I'm going to show a couple pictures about what that is like in a little bit, but to continue with our culture, high performance, we work hard, but we also play hard and we value professional personal growth in the company. Like I said, everybody has a vote. Everybody has a voice. Um, more heads together makes a better decision. We are also really active in our communities and we encourage and we sponsor volunteerism. This year during the pandemic, we committed a million dollars to local relief funds in Montpelier and throughout the state. So um, we're making sure that we're giving back to the folks that, um, that help us run our business. So, you know, being good stewards in our, in our communities. Family first work-life balance, I, I can't, express enough how wonderful Vermont Mutual has been to our to us as employees during the pandemic. Um, just a quick personal story. I have two very small children and when the pandemic first hit, daycare closed down and I was not able to be at the office because, well, obviously we're remote now, but I was not able to work for a good three months until daycare finally opened back up. And Vermont Mutual told all of its employees, you know what? You do what you need to do. You work when you can. We support you. We're going to pay you like we were while you were working full time and do what you need to do to support your family. And that has been really awesome. It has continued throughout this time. And um, I think that really speaks to, you know, we value our employees more than anything else in the company. I told you that we want to make sure that we're having fun. And like I said, I'm going to show you some pictures in a second. And then also, like I said, this probably goes hand in hand with that collaborative nature, but there's an open door policy when we are in the office, but our CEO, COO, love it when people stop by, say hi, we have a suggestion box um, so that anybody can share ideas about what can make the company better. So real quick, just a couple pictures. Here's an event that we always participate in, even though this year it was virtual. Um, we still always make sure that we're part of the Corporate Cup in Montpelier every year. Um, this is one of those things that we do to make work really fun. Every year we have an employee appreciation event. It's a full day offsite event. This one is showing at um, Sugarbush Resorts. Just we make sure that there's food, fun, activities. Yes, that is some jousting that you see right there. So it's a really great event. And we do events like this throughout the year to try to facilitate a lot of fun. We also, like I said, we're good corporate citizen or um, social citizens. So here's us participating in Green Up Vermont. We also do holiday luncheons. And yes, that is our CEO and COO in those um, very special suits that you see there. Um, this is our holiday luncheon where we get together just to celebrate all the successes that we've had throughout the year. We um, have award ceremonies where we honor people for different achievements that they've had throughout the year. Or in that bottom left-hand corner, you see someone with a bouquet of flowers. She was retiring, so we were making sure that we were thanking her for all of her years of working at Vermont Mutual, which I believe was 42, which is really awesome. Um, we didn't get a chance to do this this year, obviously, but we had an ice cream truck that the CEO and COO drive around to both of our locations. We have one in downtown Montpelier and then one up in Berlin, Vermont. And so um, I think that's really awesome. Everyone comes out and gets an ice cream for free. And just a couple of things that we volunteer for, the Santa 5K, Camp to come to. Um, we have the United Way golf outing, and then we put on a secure shred event so that people from the community could come shred their um, documents or other things they need to get rid of in their homes. So, really great company. We have all these awards, but I think the one that is most important is this best place to work in Vermont for six years in a row or five years in a row. No, it is six. Um, six years in a row now. So we have all these, you know, great financial ratings, um, security, things like that. But it's really important to us that our employees think that we are a great place to work, that they want to continue working with us. And um, that's probably, like I said, the most important thing to us.
So with all that being said, what do we have open? We have several positions open. Um, one is the controller. So we have in our financial department, um, it's kind of an executive level position. So someone that can oversee our accounting finances, run reports and make sure that we're compliant with different rules and regulations that are going on throughout our territories that we run our business in. Commercial lines underwriter. So this means that if you are a business owner or you have a commercial policy that you need, um, the underwriters would do a risk assessment to say, is this something that we would like to have on our books? Is this a good risk for us? And if so, what's the pricing going to be? And they interact with those agents. They do the customer service and the you know financial piece behind all that. And they coordinate and um, try to keep that policy throughout the year. So they help maintain that. Same thing with the commercial lines associate underwriter. Along that vein, this is just more of the more entry level position in that role. There's a lot to learn in insurance. So this will get your, your feet wet, so to speak, and so that you can move up the ranks and eventually become an underwriter if you so choose. Quality Assurance Analyst, this is in our IT department. We have a very large IT department for 300 plus employees. It's around 75 folks. And one of the things that they do is obviously QA. They do user end testing to make sure that any new technologies that we have going on, um, you know, updates, patches, those types of things um, that nothing gets broken. They search for bugs and they make sure that everything's working properly. And the analyst plays a very large role in that. And then finally, this just opened up. If you are a customer service driven individual, you like multitasking, um, you like wearing a lot of hats throughout the day, our switchboard operator is now available. Um, so I'm happy to answer specific questions that anybody has on any of these positions. So just let me know. And all of these are obviously posted on jobsinvt.com, but also on our website. So um, please let me know what I can answer. Thank you, Sarah. And thanks to Vermont Mutual Insurance Group and Jobs in VT. Thank you, and Sarah.